been a member of Congress for more than your life, almost uh, 20 years, unless some of you are ringers. Uh, and I, I, when I'm not in Washington, and actually it's interesting today, of course it's St. Patrick's Day, so a lot of people are out celebrating. My office is closed in Washington because there's a two or three inches of snow, and in Washington, you'll find that if you go to the University of Maryland, any excuse with bad weather, the, the federal government uh, shuts down. So I'm in, I'm in New Jersey for a week. Uh, when I leave here, sometime, assuming you let me leave, I'm actually off to uh, the Cedar Grove Middle School to talk, I think, to some of the seventh and eighth graders. And, and sort of why do I do it? Well, first of all, I think it's important for you to know the member of Congress we actually <coughs> exist, that, that we're human. We have, we're full of imperfections, but we have indeed an interesting job. When I'm back in New Jersey, I feel an obligation to, to visit a lot of schools to sort of talk about what I do. Because we hope the people who run this school, the people who teach you, and we know some of you will be connected to government somewhere along the line. Not just through a course of study, but somewhere along the line in your life, you'll either get sick and tired of government or perhaps be part of government. And so uh, I've been doing this for a long time, and one of the things I like to do is sort of put a human face on what it means to be a member of Congress. As you can see, as you can heard me say, I uh, sp I spent a lot of time with the Irish lately. <laughs> but you know, I know that in Cedar Grove you have somewhere across the street here a, a very I think it's a Unico group. Isn't there a Unico? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, like a, a, a fair. I went to, which is great. I forget the, the name of the gentleman who runs it, but quite honestly, uh, I'm partial towards eating it and a lot of good times. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, I'm uh, back in New Jersey, uh, and I, I said to, uh, when I came in, I might pose this question. People have a very uh, short uh, attention span, and so most of the nation is riveted on flight uh, 370. I assume some of you have been following that story. You know, it's hard to believe in a world where you know that we're collecting a lot of information about people. You're, you're, you may know the initials NSA. It used to be called no such agency because people didn't know it exists. That's the National Security Agency. There's been a lot in the newspapers about them collecting information, megadata maybe. Perhaps, and this is not true, listening in on telephone conversations. But certainly listening in on some of the bad people who might want to do us harm. So my point is, uh, the world is sort of focused on uh, where this plane is and how it came to, to uh, sort of capture the headlines. We're learning a lot more about the pilots. We're learning a lot more about Malaysia. A lot of people don't even know where Malaysia is. But they certainly do now. And the, other, and the other thing people are focused on, unless people are in a, on another planet, but you are all AP, a lot of things the Russians are doing uh, in the Crimea. Now, it's interesting, in my congressional district, I would say if I had to look at where everybody came from originally, and we're a nation of immigrants, probably the largest number of people I represent are of Italian-American heritage, and perhaps after that, Irish, and perhaps that, perhaps uh, uh, some Spanish-speaking uh, uh, community. Uh, but a, a lot's happening in, in the Ukraine, and interestingly enough, within maybe 10 or 15 miles from here, uh, I, there's quite a large Ukrainian community in Hanover Township, for those of you. I live in the Morristown area, but right near uh, where I live, for over 100 years, there's been a Ukrainian community. We don't think of it. You know, we think of you know people from Czechoslovakia, and, uh, people of uh, Polish heritage and Slavic, and different nationalities. But for a hundred years, basically from the time of the Russian czars, there's been a Ukrainian community here that has sought a better life. So I can tell you, the people in that community are ginned up because they see their country, which had been under the boot of the Russians, as you're aware, from the time of Lenin. Under Stalin, welcome. Uh, they they see a lot of you know they see a lot of things happening, and uh, 
But what else is happening around the world which might uh, have been our focus? Anybody been following what's been happening in Syria? Anybody know what's been happening in Syria? Anyone want to tell me what they think they know about Syria? Anybody here? Recently? Yeah, recently. Yeah. I'm not like too sure about recently. <laughs>